AIDS packages were more than CS. CS, yeah. A main benefit of being in autonomous college is that your syllabus get on changing as per the market demand. Do you think AI will eat up jobs or it will make job easier? So what are you pursuing? Uh, I'm studying actually artificial intelligence and data science. I'm currently in my second year. And your college? Uh, I'm from BIT Pune. Okay. So why did you choose AIDS? Actually, uh, the CS score was uh, something with hardware and software both. Uh, when I like consulted with my like seniors or people who are already in this field, so they chose. Uh, they told me to do uh, go with artificial intelligence and data science to pursue something new in the same field. So I pursued this. Okay. Field. So how different is AIDS from CS and IT? Uh, I would say seventy percent. It's same. Then the new subjects like AI and data science, which are there, there are many like image processing or something, uh, many more subjects like that. So I think it's just an add-on to see a subject and I feel that's pretty much good. Okay. Do you think it was a good decision to go yeah, for AIDS? Yeah, I do. And uh, the students who are watching you, okay. what would you suggest then? They should go for CSIT or AI? If you're getting CS or IT, that's well and good because you again get the scope to... Uh, yeah, like you get wider mind. scope. Yes. And if you're going with uh, like you have fixed this mind in goal in your mind, like you have to go for artificial intelligence and data science skills, you so you can pursue it. And uh, what's the package one can expect in AIDS? Uh, AIDS it depends actually. Like uh, on campuses there are many placements. Uh, this year actually VIT, as much I know that uh, AIDS packages were more than a CS. CS, yeah. Uh, and in, of course, you can get for off from campus job because I feel it's like upcoming field. So. Uh, there are many places where the job uh, opportunities are arising, so I feel like you can uh, thrive for it. Okay. Do you think AI will eat up jobs or it will make job easier? I think it will make job easier because uh, I feel just the mode of job will change. The one who cope up with all those transitions, I can they can survive. Uh, so are you doing something else also other than your college or just what your college teaches you? I am in a club, like mathematical club because I'm interested in it. And uh, again, I'm doing sub like, uh, they are syllabus, our college is autonomous, so we have our own syllabus. But along with that, I'm uh, trying to serve uh, on other topics too, so I'm learning a lot with them. Okay, so as your college is autonomous, how different your syllabus is and exam pattern? Okay, uh, uh, the exam pattern we will talk about. Uh, in first year, I had only one theory paper, which was mathematics. And the rest of the assessments were on my project work and my like VIVA assist class assessments and uh, my project work. Uh, talking about the syllabus, I would say that uh, the VIT syllabus is more structured in a practical way, I would say. Or uh, if you compare with the, like the SPP or some uh, universities, it is like theoretical syllabus. I would say like you have physics, chemistry and maths. We don't have physics, chemistry. We have mathematics in the first year. We had like C, uh, C, then Python and like subjects like that, like uh, robotics or something. So we didn't have physics, chemistry. So you get to know your field better than the other people, I guess. So what is needed, that's what your college is teaching you? Yes. No other subject? Because the uh, the main benefit of being in autonomous college is that your syllabus get on changing as per the market demand. So we have different council for that and they work on it. So it's pretty much good, I feel. So it's always to go for an autonomous college? I wouldn't say that. It also, uh, if you're getting in a good SPPU university, that's also good because I feel, uh, again, the placement matters on how much you put in rather than what the college provides. The so college is just like they will give a door for opportunities, but it's on your skills, I would say. So which SVU college you would have chosen over VIT? Mm, I would say PICT is a good PICT also got autonomous, I okay. guess, last year. So actually yeah, anyway. I don't have that. Oh. So now tell me about your college fees and how much you will rate your college out of 10. Out of 10, I would go for like 8. And your college fees? For uh, it's actually, I guess, 192. 192,000 for open cast. Okay. Uh, as you have spent one year in a college, how was it? I think it was good. Like, people here are pretty good and helpful. And uh, other than studies, what does your college provide? Uh, there are many things actually other than studies. So, studies is like uh, the marks or assessment and the professors. Do. But along with that, we have like like 50 or more clubs. So there are tech clubs or any field you are interested in, that club is actually in VIT, the scene is like that. So we have a lot of scope to like roam around and find our interest too. So we are doing pretty much things outside the uh, college yes. syllabus. And what are the best uh, clubs of your college? 
best clubs actually it depends on what you want to pursue because you have like management clubs so which uh, controls the events or something in the college so we have like there are many coding clubs tech clubs there are many uh, tech clubs there are research uh, clubs there are with like mechanical or instrumentation clubs like turf for something so we have a lot of clubs so it depends on your interest which one you have to join okay uh, what values do these clubs provide uh firstly it's like the peer group you create with like the like minded people come in the same group so in the clubs you can't just join you have to do the interview so they the people in the club first they check that whether you have that uh kind of interest or not if you are like eligible for it and you pass the interview i guess uh, you go for the club and you create a group of people who are like minded for the same subjects and they are not only studying or like doing projects in the subject they are conducting like events or you know workshops for other people who are interested so you can work in many domains or how much did you score in entrance exams uh, i was like 98 percentile in j or c c and how did you get into vit uh it was through capra impressive and it like why j quota or ct ct 98 right yes. so what did you do to score 98 in ct uh actually the basic uh, 11 12 uh, along with that i was prepping for like competitive examinations as all all of us do so i would say that solving the previous year questions are the one that helps a lot for ct have that repetitive pa- pattern if you get that and you can have it so like time limit and also practicing is what i think okay uh what advice you want to give to the students who are watching this uh, i would say just work hard and i think uh you have to keep working hard Wh- whatever college you get after like uh, cet or je it's matter how much skills you have how much efforts you put in yourself tell us about your accommodation in details uh okay uh in vit vit has its hostels but the as the campus size is small so we have hostels outside there are many private pgs and stuff so and the thing is that there are many people uh, all around the maharashtra as well as outside maharashtra so you get to know many people and uh, accommodation i feel it's more about getting a private hostel because college hostel is not that big so if you get chance to get in it it's good but uh, there are many more uh, options too okay and uh, how much do you pay annually uh, for hostel and mess uh, i would say for, for hostel i am in a private one so it's like 80000 Per and, year. Yes, and the food and all it's different. And uh, how many girls stay in one room? It's like two or three. So, are you comfortable in hostel or are you looking for flat or PG? No, no, I am comfortable. It's with uh. What are the one, pros and cons of being in hostel? I think uh, the pros is that you are always with the people who are in the college. So you get like you are always in that zone. Like you have to do this. Like you have that work list on it. and also you have good connection with the same minded people around you so it's good and the cons is that that you are away from your family from that 